Hi guys, Simon here. Still got my same coffee. So yes, I filmed this straight after the last one. Kung has sold Michael's Hotel. Nine and a half million baht. Sold it, cash, gone. Michael's got his bank book in his hand. There was 800,000 baht in that book. He's at the bank, he's just put it in the machine to get an update to find out what's left in there. Maybe she's had that 800,000 baht as well. He's waiting for the lawyers to open across the road. He's only just got back from America. Gone to the hotel, she sold the hotel. He's still got the car. That's on finance. So she couldn't sell it. If she has gone and took his 800,000 baht as well, he has invested. That, that hotel they paid um, seven and a quarter for, she sold it for nine and a half, but profit doesn't matter, does it? He's paid five million baht out of his pocket for that hotel. Um, and there's another 800,000 baht in the bank that she might have had. He stands to lose six million baht, but he's still got four million baht in the bank in America on its way to Thailand. So he's not being cleaned out. So it's not the end of the world for him. Hmm. Why would she sell the hotel and run away with all that money? Why would she do that? She was special. She is special. She's the one. It doesn't make sense. Everything was fine when he went. Book comes back out of the machine, the ATM machine, pulls the book out, pass book. He's expecting, in his head, zero. 800,000 baht gone. He looks down at the book. Turns it round so he can read it properly. Can't quite believe what he's seeing. Pulls glasses out of the pocket. Puts his glasses on. I can't be right. That's a mistake. Inside he goes to the bank, up to the counter. Please can you give me an update how much money isn't in the bank or is in my bank account right now, please. Here's my card book. Go print out please. Gives me his card back, gives me his book back. A4 piece of paper. There you go, sir. Have a nice day. Zero or 800,000 baht. What's your bets? 10,300,000 baht. In his bank account. Kung has sold the hotel for nine and a half million baht and put it in his bank account. All of it. That's her two million as well and the profit into this bank account, which is his name only. He's got 800,000 baht and she's put nine and a half million in. 10 million, 300,000 baht in his bank account. Didn't see that coming, did you? What the hell? Michael stood there now. He doesn't know what, what he's looking at. That's the money for the hotel. Why? Why would she sell the hotel, put the money in his bank? She's special, remember? He is like, he goes back to his car, and sits in the car and he's just, doesn't know what the hell has happened. Gets on the phone, ringing Kung, no answer. He thinks, right, I've got to see the lawyers. I've got to find out where she is, what's going on, what's happened. Waits 10 minutes, the lawyer's open, spots the girl opening the door. Straight out of his car, straight out of his car into the lawyers. Says, emergency, needs to see the lawyer, no problem. Up he goes. The lawyer said, yeah, your partner um, came in, arranged a sale with this lady. Uh, it's all in her name anyway, before 
so there's no problem. The lady's paid the money. We've transferred it um, to an account. And he's held his book up and showed this guy here. That's the account. We've transferred the money to there. Um, minus a bit of commission and uh, costs. Um, and your partners, um, to all the paperwork we have for you too, for your, your who owes who money, we've destroyed because you've got all the money back. It's all sorted. Um, and she's left. No forwarding address. Seemed fine, happy, no problem at all. And he explains to the lawyer what's happened. And the lawyer's like, well, I've no idea. She's giving you your money back plus more, plus hers. That's strange. Um, why don't you check the hospital? Maybe she's had a problem or... Um, we haven't got a copy of her Thai ID. Have you got a copy? And he's like, oh, um, he did have in the hotel, but it's not going to be in his bags. He hasn't got a copy of her Thai ID card. He can go to the police and do a search. Check. God, she's done everything, she's sold it, she's given his money back. He leaves the lawyer, the lawyer can't help him. He thinks, please, I, hang on a minute, ring my friends. Gets on the phone to his friends, sitting in his car telling them what's happened and uh, he's talking to the one friend, the other one wasn't with him and his friends are like, oh, this is just weird, what's going on? She's giving you more money than you put in and all the rest of it. He said, okay, something's happened, obviously. He said, you've got to find her. Maybe she's in trouble, maybe. He said, uh, go to the police. Tell the police and check the hospital. So his friend said, uh, do you want me to come down and help you? And he said, not at the moment, I'll, I'll let you know later. Goes to the police station, goes to the police, finds a policeman that speaks good English, sits down and tells him the story. And the policeman said, what do you want us to do? This woman not steal from you, she not do anything wrong. You not have a ID card. We cannot search where she is if, if we know where she is. She's not bad, done nothing wrong. What do you want us to do? And just shrugged his shoulders. Mike was like, oh God, a Thai ID card I haven't got. Hospital, straight to Fugit Hospital, gone in. Asked for admissions, gave her name, no, nothing. Had a walk round look as much as he could. No sign of her. No idea. Disappeared. He's now thinking, has that bad man appeared? Has he found her? Has she run off away from him? Has he done anything to her? Has he been has she been hurt? Everything's going through his brain. He's got his car, he's got his bags, and he's a million things running through his head. He's in Phuket. She's gone. Gotta get a Thai ID card. Gets in the boot, checks all, rips all his stuff out of his bags. Not a thing. Glove box, no. No copy of her ID card. He suddenly remembers. Last time she used her ID card that he can remember, was renting those motorcycles on Kosamui. Do you remember that hotel, up the road from the hotel? He's in Phuket, can go across country to Trat, on the ferry, Samui. No idea who the, he can't ring him or get him on the internet because he's not gonna find out or speak Thai to get that information. He's gonna have to go there. It's the only lead to get a Thai ID card. The lawyers had nothing. It's crazy. It's getting on a bit, so he's like, right, hotel tonight. Checks into a hotel. Next morning, rings his friend in Patea, says, look, this is what I'm doing. Police nothing, they won't help. Hospital's nothing. His friend's like, this is so strange. Why would she do this? Where's she gone? He's like, no idea. Absolutely no idea. So he tells him, I'm going cross country, Samui, ID card. Off he goes. 
four and a half hours, I think, something like that, five hours across to Trap. Gets on the ferry with the car across to Samui, drives to the motorcycle shop, um, goes in, explains as best they can with the English tie talking. They understand what he's saying. A thousand baht note waves it at them. ID card, copy, copy. Explains the woman dates he knew roughly. Anyway, luckily they pulled the file out, showed him, and he spotted the paperwork, her ID card picture. But it's only a photocopy. Fine. Gives him a thousand baht. Takes that, copies it. He's got her ID card. <sighs> right. Starting point. Goes down the road, hotel where they stayed before, he goes in there. Familiar territory, books in for a night. Hmm. And that is where I am going to finish season one of Michael and Kung's love story. If the popular demand is for what actually goes on after that, then I'll look at maybe doing some more videos. But it's a sort of happy ever after ending. He's got his money back. He's not lost. In fact, he's got more money. She's wandered off. She's probably all right. Maybe not. But he's had a great time. They've had a lovely relationship. He's not lost any money. He's made money. He's okay. If he can't find her, maybe never see her again. Just got to start his life again. Who knows? I'm so glad you all watched this series. I hope you enjoyed it. The ending's a nice little twist for you. <laughs> well, the ending, as far as you've seen, is a nice little twist there. Please share, subscribe, tell your friends about the channel and I'll catch you on the next, whatever the next video is. Bye for now, Simon, out.